let's take a look at the clone stamp tool this here you have the clone stamp tool or you can access access this tool using the shortcut s here i'm going to take a copy of this layer also i'm going to take a new layer uh, i can uh, work on this layer but uh, the thing is that i would want to work non-destructively i want to keep these details intact and then work so in case you want to work on the same layer that's fine you will just change this to current layer and then you can work on this layer okay so now uh, as i have selected this uh, clone stamp tool you see that there is a brush like option here and if i click it gives an error could not use the clone stamp because the area to the clone has not been defined or click to define a source point so uh it says i need to define a source point and for that i need to all click let's say i need to repair this particular uh, crack on the image so i'm gonna alt now it is going to source then click it has sourced and then you can see it is sourcing the pixels from the plus sign is sourcing the pixels from that particular area of the image it also picked up that spot I can alt click and source again and replace that spot as well so it's very simple and straightforward I can use uh, the square brackets to make the brush size smaller or bigger same setting as brush tools so I'm gonna click alt click and will start sampling this like so so this tool is very useful in repairing old images and even duplicating things that we want to duplicate okay so i'm gonna start working on this edges now I'll just zoom in and all click and paint all click sample and paint Just like the brush tool, I can change the hardness and softness as per my required choice. But uh, it's a good advice to keep the softness uh, full or hardness zero so that this merges better with the background. What is that uh, every change I have done here will be done on this particular layer? And if I take a new layer, now if i do all click it won't be able to paint anything because on this particular layer there is nothing current layer is uh, blank so i have to choose the option current and below and now if i all click it will start sampling the pixels from the below layer because the below layer has some information so like so i'm going to fill in this information Here, I fill in the cap. Here, now I'm going to fill in the gaps on this side. I'm going to keep the hardness to zero percent so that it merges better with the background. And um, whatever I do is coming on this separate layer so in case i want to make changes i can make changes on this layer using simply an eraser tool i can just go to an eraser tool and let's say i don't like this portion of this and i can just erase this much and then start using the stamp tool again to paint it up like so click and sample make sure you sample around the area that is uh, near the crack that will give a little more familiar tone color tone and it won't look that or fake Let's say i'm going to sample this this is going to be a whole dot like that sample and just fill this is going to be a little dark so i'm going to sample this and 
here. You can use that other uh, tools like healing tool, healing tool. Uh, we're going to, we're going to take a look at this another video, but uh, that's an also a useful tool in case you are doing a photo restoration. I can choose the opacity and flow, increase or decrease the opacity flow just like the brush tool. But uh, for now, I don't need to increase or decrease opacity and flow. Let's say I'll increase the opacity to 52 and start sampling. As you can see, I have to paint more than one time to just get the look. Let's say I go to this sample and there. I have to paint more time so I'm gonna keep the opacity full and then start painting like I want that that effect here sample and click so it looks very seamless here so sample and paint it's that easy this tool but you need a little practice for it to be uh, natural looking else if you just sample anything it will look fake, not natural. That's not a good practice to have in Photoshop. You should always keep the things uh, natural looking and realistic. Let's say if you don't have any information, you can use a brush tool and just start painting the color in case you don't have any information. Yeah. Sometimes the information is not available and you can take the best judgment how this would appear or look like. And at times you will be the best judge how to make this better looking. Okay. And just to bring down the opacity now, I need to reduce the opacity now because I think there is some little discrepancies here. And it will just get better like that. So it's pretty much trial and error. Just keep doing it, and you will get your desired result. Improve this little spots as well. You can go as detailed as you want, like little little details. You can even recreate the whole thing all over again.
as you can see these spots are getting repeated I just need to remove these spots as well Here I have one straight line. I can use shift click to just uh, take a straight uh, stroke of the brush. Hold shift and do it will give a straight stroke. I'm making an assumption here that this would how this is how it would look like if he had the ear here in this area. Take a brush sample and we'll start painting now. Or I could just uh, take a lasso tool and cut out this ear. Control J and I can just take this control T to transform and uh, flip horizontal take this one above use an eraser and make the edges a bit So if we raise to history now, yeah. right there, just a bit. Like so. And I'm going to use a little bit of adjustment, like I'm going to use Control U. This is huge saturation and I can bring down the lightness like so. and the opacity as well. Just bring down the opacity. It looks a little odd. I'm gonna bring up the levels adjustment and make it a little darker. T to transform and it looks a little odd. Erase this extra area. Okay, so now looks okay ish. And let's start working on your stamp tool. That's a fair enough result. Now, 
Mm, here I need to work a little bit on this. Results a little off here. Okay, that's look. That looks fine to me, I guess. But a little bit of disturbances here and there. You can fix that anytime using this tool. Okay, so this is what you can do using just the clone stamp tool.